So good morning, everybody. Now, I don't know if you took the opportunity to listen to the video of the young lady that I posted on my page earlier this morning, but, um, you know, I just want to reiterate on something that she was talking about. Uh, she was talking about now, although she was talking about the black community, this goes for any community whatsoever, because this is just being people and being alive and, and how we should be. You know, I talked about having consideration for each other once before. But in her video, she talked about how if you got two parents who are at odds against each other, that you're setting up the children to fail. And this spoke to me because, you know, as some of you may have, may know, you know, um, I, I was married to my first wife for 17 years and we had three children. Uh, and, you know, the thing about it is that although there could have been animosity, although there could have been a lot of anger, although there could have been a lot of hatred that could have created an environment that would have been poisonous to the children. Yes, there was hurt feelings. Yes, there were animosity. Yes, there was pain. But what we both understood, and without even speaking on it too much, what we both understood is that we had to have a relationship with each other that was at least considerate of each other because we had children to raise. You see, no matter what happens, whether child support is paid, whether child support is not, whether visitation is given, whether visitation is not, whether um, you know, it's, life is made difficult by the mother or whether it's made difficult or whether it's not or whether it's made difficult by the father or whether it's not, whether family members try to make it difficult or whether they did not, it did not matter between me and my children's mother because the most important thing was our children. And see, right now we have three great children, 19, 15, 13, about to turn 14, and they're very intelligent. They're very, they have good manners. They're they're open thinkers. They, they achieve things that they desire to achieve. And I'm very, very proud of them. But I can tell you that if me and their mother had animosity towards each other to the point where it showed itself and inhibited our ability to raise our children together. Now, I'm not saying we never had any disagreements or we never had any arguments or uh, there weren't opportunity. There weren't times when things came between us and, and, and we had to get through it. But the thing about it is that we got through it. Right now, if I call their mom and say that I want to switch up my visitation days or we want to do something special, we work it out. If we need to change anything about the schedule, we work it out. If there's a, a, a sporting event or a play or a musical or anything that they're doing, guess what? We work it out and we, show, we all show up. We all show up and even their step parents show up. So that's what, you know, you got to think about. So if you've got children with someone else, stop all the hate and discontent because the only person that you're truly hurting besides yourself is the kids, is the children. And if we stop doing this, whether the kids are being raised in, in the same household with the two parents or both parents are just very active, then we will have great children, period. Your sons will learn how to be men. Your daughters will learn how to be women. All right, They will understand and they will learn. But if the animosity of the anger and the hurt and the pain is outwardly shown by the parents, then you're destroying the child. So let's stop destroying children, period, across the board. I don't care what race. I don't care what nationality. I don't care about any of those things, religion. Who cares? When it comes to the children, when it comes to raising families, the only thing that actually matters is the actually, actual raising of them. So get it together. Get it together. Stop this nonsense. Stop this craziness. Right? And learn how to be considerate of each other for the, at least the sake of your kids. Because if you claim that you love them, then show them love. Now, if you got one parent who does not want to get on board, then don't worry about them. You just do what you should do. You do what you need to do. I was just talking to my daughter last night, um, considering what she's going through at her job. This is the first time she had issues at her job. And so she called me about it. And I was blessed and thankful that she felt you know, willing to call me about it. And one of the things I told is, baby, you keep doing what you do at your job. You do the best you can. Don't worry about other people and their issues. They bring their problems to work and they lay them out on other people. You just keep doing what you need to do. Now make a way to change your environment, but do what you need to do. Never let anybody stop you from being you is one of the messages that I told her. So guys, this is, you know how important and how gratifying and how proud I am that I have that relationship with my daughter. But the only way of having that is for me and her the mom to have consideration for each other. And then we have an outward pouring toward them. But no matter what the other parent is doing, you have to first do it for yourself and do it for your children. 
And one day, even if they don't see it today, one day they will see it. And if you've already been acting that way, it's never too late to change. Just decide. You decide to change, and life changes. So y'all have a great day.